there was a funeral held for a transvestite man. So went as a female man that identified as a female, um, prostitute, prostitute advocate, um, basically morally questionable person, uh, died and they held a funeral mass at this church in New York city. And it was one of the most insulting things you'll ever see. Like very bad. Um, I think it's even being downplayed, even though there's outrage about it. Imagine if it was any other religion that got mocked and ridiculed like this. So, uh, before they had the funeral on Ash Wednesday, Miss AOC first started out by commenting on the death of this person, uh, Cecilia. She had her ashes on her head as she normally would with her glasses, as big as you could get. She told the priest, uh, Oh, the deacon, give me a double batch. Um, <laughs> that's kind of her MO. So she's wearing those on her head. A double dip. <laughs> yes. The outward sign that you are a Catholic, you're a Christian, it's Ash Wednesday. Um, she wears those on her head and decides to give comments like this on the uh, floor of, of, of the Congress. I rise today to reflect on the life and legacy of beloved Queens community leader Cecilia Gentili. Cecilia was a beacon of hope for so many communities in my district. She was only 26 when she fled Argentina to seek asylum in the United States. She arrived in New York City in 2003 and lived her truth as a trans woman. She was finally granted asylum in 2012 as well, and she devoted much of her life to uplifting our trans and undocumented community in Queens. Most, recent, most recently, Cecilia shined in her, in her artistic pursuits as an author, playwright, and actress. Cecilia was a leader in the fight for HIV AIDS healthcare and founded a free healthcare clinic in New York City. At the state level, she championed the Gender Expression Non-Discrimination Act, GENDA, which was signed into law into 2019. And today, Cecilia would have also wanted to continue to uplift her advocacy against the dangers of proposals like, the COS like COSA and would allow, that would allow states to cut off access to life-saving online resources for online trans youth like healthcare information. Our, our community will continue to remember Cecilia as an unwavering leader in the fight for equality. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What are we doing here? Like, you can't wear those on your head. You can't actually buy into Catholicism if you're going to go up and advocate for that kind of a lifestyle. It just doesn't equate. There's no way that that mixes together. There is no zipper there to go back to what we said. The, it doesn't just, work. It doesn't, it doesn't. work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the message right that's that voicemail that's another greatest, $20 dude, the greatest voicemail of all time um, you hear some of the things oh, that no. she said it does in charge <laughs> she yeah, talks like in there about of whores and stuff yeah, but dude, she said, I would say one lived thing her though, truth like, no yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, like I'm sure that's how you say it and everything but like Thank the you. Argentina, like Thank the you. Argentina, like Thank uh, you, ooh, your lady or whatever. Like she goes just from say like Argentina. New York, like she needs to say appeal to like her constituency. Yeah, like with this Jenny from the block bit, right? Exactly. Like the Argentina or whatever. I'm so glad you picked like, up. But on I'm that. sure that's how you say it, though. Like, yeah, yeah, no, that's the know? proper like way to say yeah. it with like a, a Spanish accent. But like, Mother of dude. Yeah. He, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just just do what we're all doing here just say yeah, Argentina cool. <laughs> like come on um do what about this other thing too like I feel like this is glossed over but she left seeking asylum from the country of Argentina is that a war-torn country where she's being like like oh I guess it's her what, asylum what was her about? asylum claim because she's I don't know Argentina was in pretty bad 
their economy is like tanking. No, no, like economic hardship is one thing, but oh, to yeah. me, like if you live just in an economically bad country, that doesn't mean you should be able to seek political asylum here in this country. It's like, yeah, of course you'd rather be here. Um, there's more opportunity to be prosperous and, and grow your wealth, but I always took, I take asylum as, yeah, I take asylum as a way to like, means they're literally hunting you down to try to kill you. Like, or there's famine or the, you can't even have food. Like something like, right. Uh, I, I, unfortunately, as I'm asking the question, I think I'm answering it in my own head though, that um, this person is probably, probably like was seeking asylum under the basis that he's a man who thinks he's a woman in his country would not accept that. I believe I'm sure of it, that that had to have been the claim. Um, I can't live my truth in Argentina. So I'm going to come here and pretend to be a woman. Like, no, you get a truth. You get a truth. Everybody gets a truth. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no, just not happening. Um, absolutely crazy and absurd. And we should be like that too. I'm not saying we have to, we, we should be jailing people, arresting people, you know, like nothing like that, but we shouldn't be like endorsing it and condoning it and, uh, and, and, and bringing it in and, and allowing it to flourish in this country. No way, no way at all. We should be telling the truth. And if you want to go live like Cecilia out there on the block, like do your thing, but we're not going to tell you that you are a female. We're not going to let you change your driver's license to say you're a female. We're not going to let you sit there and, and, and work to advocate for prostitutes' rights, which was one of the things but that they she, are. I keep saying they she, are. that but he did. Are. But they are. I, I know. And that's absurd. Like, that's the stuff we don't need to be doing. That's just things like last year at the CPAC speech that Michael Knowles said, right? Where he's like, transgenderism needs to be eradicated from public life to altogether. Like it needs to be removed and eradicated from public life. It's not a public thing. It's a mental illness that needs to be dealt with individually. Like we're not changing all of our things to accommodate this mental illness. Sorry. Like crazy. Sorry. We got um, a couple of other clips, right? Juice, you want to do one kind of, kind of put our two cents in before getting to the last one. This yeah. was this was a eulogy from Cecilia's uh, service now and again. This was they they booked a funeral mass at this church and didn't obviously disclose you know what was going on, who the person was, what was believed, and so this church is flooded with transvestites, with um, you know people that live a pretty unsavory lifestyle to say the least, and people that are definitely clearly not Catholic. Um, and, and they're coming up in the, this clip here is from the eulogy that was given. But this lady worked so hard to make sure girls like me, girls like you, boys like you are safe, are grounded, are rooted, got health care, that sex workers are free. I don't know, y'all may have heard the story that Jesus ministered to all. Cecilia ministered to all. <laughs> that Again. was comparing Cecilia <laughs> to Jesus. Thank you. Cecilia and Jesus are, are on the same level. But what what do they say there? The the person in who, the guy from the old spice commercials? <laughs> Right? Yeah. Right? Terry Crews or whatever. Oh, that's classic. Oh, good one, Juice. <laughs> Best producer east of the Mississippi, south of the Mason-Dixon line, baby. Um, now, that person said that um, she was comparing. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. You had me laughing, man. <laughs> but she was trying to, like... The way she was talking there made me think of that he washed feet commercial that we covered last week. That it's the same idea, like, oh, he accepts us all, he loves us all. And that's what this person's trying to say. Like, oh, Cecilia was a 
was a transvestite whore. Uh, and Jesus would have loved her still too. And Jesus was for all of us and for everybody. Like, no, Jesus wants you to be who he made you to be. Like, he doesn't want you to be confused sexually, mentally, and live a, a degenerate lifestyle, to live a, uh, a, a just sinful life. Like, he doesn't want that for you. I'm sorry. And you're up there. Like, why would you be using language like that? Why would they want to be in a church like that? Um, I wear, I, like, I'm, sweatpants to mass, but, like, there's thongs. If you see these other images, thong, like, everything see-through. It's horrible. Inappropriate. It's a completely inappropriate. And believe me, I've worn I've worn sweatpants to church too. Yeah. But like, I, I don't. Like I'm not saying great Jesus about makes it, you feel like you have to wear a suit to church. Like he is accepting of all and would forgive everybody in that building. But it's not uh, condone it and like celebrate it. It's more yeah, and promote forgive it and move forward. Forgive and let's go down a different path. Exactly. And he's not kicking them out of the church. Or saying you just you know, but either no. follow me and move forward now, or you know, we're not doing this exactly. Yeah. And it's like this whole service thing. It reminds me of like these these people are all like want to be like members of the cast from Rent. Like they've all watched that one too many times. I've seen the play too many times. That's what like AOC makes me think. Like of Rocky most. Horror Picture Shows. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You don't like, know that, theater, though, theater No, I'm not in on that. You are. You're the guy who's in on that. Um, but yeah, that's just what it like reeks of to me. And I'm I'm sorry, that's just like I I don't get it, but I get it in a way that like why would they even want to have their service in a Catholic church? Like they want to do it to be provocative, to be edgy, to put it in our face, I think. But I think maybe deep down too, are there parts of them that like know that they're missing that and want that? but are just unwilling to change their lifestyle to, to get that too. So it's I nice do think, think that maybe a people's lives changed that day just by going maybe, back to Maybe, just they from being in there. Like, and then just, like, cause you I, know, Because I think they're like, longing. I really do think that they're longing for that. Oh, now I you're do. preaching to all like, of us? Who, me? Mm -hmm. No. I'm, I'm just, just saying. The longing I, of the soul. I'm just saying. Like, no, I do. I do. I think that like – Obviously, if they yeah. if they're there, if they're going there, if they if they do, in some way, even want to, they they want religion in their life. They just want it on their terms, like basically, like, and they're unwilling to to make the necessary adjustments to to face hard truths instead of their truths and and reorder their lives uh, to follow his will instead of their will. So. Uh, I don't know. That's that's the vibe I get from that. Um, I'm going. I'm about to go to this other clip real quick. But before this, yeah. somebody should have stepped in by this time. Now that we're getting to this, like the third, I think so. or, or yeah. whatever, somebody should have stepped in. This is out of control. We don't have that part, but it's somebody trans. The guy on the whatever on the right, and then there's a person in a cowboy hat. The person said it in like Spanish or something. And this person's translating, translating. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This whore. <laughs> this great whore. Saint Cecilia. Mother of all whores. No, you can't do that. Saint Cecilia, mother of all whores. Oh. And the guy's like sitting there. I know. You like, see that, like the priest like, sitting there in yeah. the middle, like you gotta go tackle the guy. Just, just step aside. We got the, no, no. the what if the bishop gay was cowboy there? Cowboy Bono. Just, what if a bishop was there and pulls him <laughs> yeah. off? He pulls him off the off the thing like with the rod. Betty Boop show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, beep beep ba doop. Uh right off stage. Yes, exit, please get out of there. Uh crazy. Like oh, how insulting is that? Wars. How insulting is that? In would they allow this to happen to any other religion out there? 
like I know that the Jews get get kind of hated on as well. They they take a lot of heat, um, obviously, but I don't Jews think wouldn't they would allow that. this in their church, though. They wouldn't, right? They would like no way, no way. You think somebody would do that in a Muslim church, like in a mosque? Um, no, not at all. And I know they did have, I think, the bishop um, that covers that that area. They had like a cleansing ceremony or something afterwards in there, which good. I'm glad they did. Um, Spiritual and physical, dude, like wiping down the bench. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, it's ugh. it's just discouraging, uh, insulting, and just uh, not good. Not good at all. Do you have anything else to add to it, Juice? Nope. All right, good. Well, uh, Cecilia, um, you know, you, you, Saint two, Cecilia. No, I can't say that. Mother of no. Ho- Saint Cecilia, mother of whores. Oh, rolls no, right off you. the tongue. It does. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Um, that Argentina, your, your eulogy people, AOC, and your giant ash cross uh, over your head as you spew sacrilegious rhetoric. All of you have earned yourselves one big fat classic. Come on, man. Boom. What? Come on, Perfect. man. Come Boom. on, man. Boom. I love it. And uh, I guess that'll do it. Please like and subscribe to the show. Uh, drop a comment down there if you want. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll see you next week. Until then, you know, thanks, thanks for having, having us. Me.